head linesman, Brian Buford, the line judge, Justin Farmer, the back judge, Kyle Warpal, the side judge, Paul Crane, and the field judge, Carter Bedford. Thank you officials for serving in tonight's game. Also a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, that the Birdville Independent School District Fine Arts Athletic Complex is a tobacco and smoke-free facility. Ladies and gentlemen, that does include electronic and vapor products. We will continue with our special senior night in just a few minutes.
Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the West End Zone, where we will honor the class of 2024 seniors from their following organizations, football, athletic trainers, cheer, and rock and hops. These students have worked diligently the past four years to make Verbal High School great. Join us as we recognize our seniors who are being escorted by their parents, family members, mentors, and friends who have tirelessly encouraged and supported these students in their sports and activities throughout the high school career. Ladies and gentlemen, we will begin representing football. Our first senior, number two, Jalen Davis. And family. Number three, Mason Ede and family. Number five, Caleb Scott Kelly. That's for my Jay and Spencer Narvita. Number 11, Victor Garza and Carmen Kegler. Number 17, Danny Acho, escorted by David and Nina Acho. Number 18, William Shaney, escorted by Shannon and Carlos Smith and family. Number 24, Ashton Grant and family. Number 25, Geraldo Hernandez, escorted by Geraldo Hernandez and Martha Hernandez. Number 27, Jonathan Daniel, escorted by Cindy Salazar. Number 31, Jack Allen, escorted by Rachel Phillips. Number 32, Jaden Nedgar, escorted by Anthony Nedgar and Celeste Romero. Number 34, Daniel Civilian, escorted by Nuri Civilian and Eduardo Carrillo. Number 35, Henry Chapman. Henry Chapman, escorted by Gary and Jerry Chapman. Number 36, Josh Zakaria, escorted by Joyce Thomas and Hakeem Zakaria. Number 40, Anthony Martinez, escorted by Troy and Christina Martinez. Number 41, Davion Coleman and family. Number 54, PJ McCooley, escorted by Tuliga McCooley and Loakini Suamanu Chapa. Number 60, Luke Lacey, escorted by Todd and Julie Lacey. Number 62, Anthony Estrada, escorted by Jessica Alvarado. Number 63, Mitchell Benzer, escorted by Patricia Biasi and Bo Benzer. Number 64, Siwon Arnold, escorted by Sharonda Burnett. Number 67, Landon Harmon and family. Number 68, Jesse Briones, escorted by Santiago Briones and Susan Briones and Sebastian. Number 79, Jose Rodriguez, escorted by Mariela Castillo and Jose Rodriguez. Student athletic trainer, Stella Healy, escorted by Merrill and Brandy Healy. Student athletic trainer, Brooklyn McDonald, escorted by Bill and Brandy McDonald. Student athletic trainer, Grace Pretzel, escorted by Dwayne and Meg Pretzel. Student athletic trainer, Shiara Trimble and family. 
Student athletic trainer, Madison Lumble, escorted by Matt and Angie Wumble. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we move on to our cheerleaders. Our first senior cheerleader, Captain Natalie Jones, escorted by Brent and Suzanne Jones. Co-captain, Delaney White, escorted by David, Deanna, and Drake White. Spirit Officer, Paxton Hickman, escorted by Greg and Nika Hickman. Kelby Calicott, escorted by Stephen and Misty Calicott. London Leach, escorted by Cody and Heather Leach. Kenzie and Pallone, escorted by Zach and Rachel Pallone. Ella Persley, escorted by Jeff and Nicole Persley. Melanie Stewart, escorted by Tammy Stewart and Tim Stewart. Saxy Stone, escorted by Kurt Smith. Ruby Williams, escorted by Jeff and Nika Williams. Ariana Worthen, escorted by Sean and Tara Worthen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, representing our Rockin' Hawks, Social Captain Senior Mac Kovitz, escorted by Fred Kovitz. Communications Captain, Leilani Perez, escorted by Paul Perez. Yeah. Emily Smay, escorted by Jerry Smay and Kimberly Smay. Yesenia Rios, escorted by Max Hernandez. Ladies and gentlemen, a special thank you, once again, the class of 2024, for all your contributions. We wish you luck as you finish your senior year. Ladies and gentlemen, this time we'd like to pregame, continue with our pregame and introduce the Birdville High School varsity cheerleaders. Captain, senior Natalie Jones. Co-captain, senior Delaney White. Spirit officer, senior Paxton Hickman. Senior Kelly Calicott. Senior London Leach. Senior Kinsey Pallone. Senior Ella Persley. The freshman liaison, Junior Sophia Hensley. Junior Amelie Archer. Junior McKenna Daring. Junior, 
junior Avery Katakaru. Junior Kendall Robb. Junior Amy Lark Schilling. Junior Mally Sue Schilling. Senior Saxy Stone. Senior Melanie Stewart. Senior Ruby Williams. Senior Ariana Worthen. Spirit Officer Junior Molly McCown. Junior Ella Skelton. The mascot, sophomore Kylie Martin. Ladies and gentlemen, the head coach of Burgle Cheer is Cassidy Lakota. Ladies and gentlemen, the Burgle High School varsity cheerleaders. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce the Rockin' Hawks. Let's go, Rockin' Hawks. Senior Matt Kovitz. Senior Yesenia Rios. Senior Leilani Perez. Senior Emily Smay. Junior Zandon Galshuk. Junior Hope Lynch. Junior Clara Carruthers. Junior Emerald Partagrico. Sophomore Angel Sabonacane. And the sponsor, Savannah Bunn. Ladies and gentlemen, the Rockin' Hawks. Throughout tonight's game, we direct your attention to the video screen. I'd like to recognize Abuelos and Hearst. That's Abuelos and Hearst. So thank you, Abuelos, for bringing in the authentic taste of Mexico to you. Thank you for being a sponsor of Verbal Athletics. So folks, once again, we direct your attention to the video screen. I'd like to thank another one of our premium sponsors, Citricare, also in Hearst. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Citricare. If you have a sore throat, a broken bone, or anything in between, Citricare is here for you. They're located at 606 Grapevine Highway. I want to thank you for supporting Verbal Hawks.
Like Sean, it's time we'd like to continue with our pregame activities. We do not have a visitor's school song, but we will be playing direct your attention for the Mighty Hawk Band as they perform the Virgo High School alma mater. Hey fans, during this break in the action, once again, we direct your attention to the video board. We'd like to recognize another one of our premium sponsors, Legacy Church of Christ in North Hurtsome Hills. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we direct your attention to the board. They are a proud partner of Verbal ISD. They're located across the street from Verbal High School. And LSEM invites all students to visit Sundays at 9 a.m. and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pull up to Legacy Student Ministry. We build different. That's Legacy Church of Christ. Thank you for sponsoring Verbal Football. <laughs> Folks, we also do want to remind you that reserve seating has the seats with the backs on them. And general mission is just the bleachers. Please do not sit in the seats with the backs on them if you have general admission. General admission is the seating that is the bleachers.
for the introduction of tonight's captains and the phone calls. Captains for the Molina Jaguars, number 54, Ty Miller, number 64, Cruz Navarro, number 71, Luis Vergara, and number 72, Noel Fonseca, number 77, Lee Nixon. Captains for the Burgle Haas, Number four, Noah Norman. Number 32, Jaden Nefgar. Number 40, Anthony Martinez. Number 60, Luke Lacey. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Burville Fine Arts and Athletic Complex in beautiful North Richland Hills, Texas, for the senior night football game between the Dallas Molina Jaguars and your Burville Hawks. We'll get started in just a few moments with our national anthem. For tonight's moment of student expression. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's moment of student expression is brought to us by Burville High School's Greta Hembry. Please pray with me. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing everyone out tonight to celebrate the abilities you've given them. Bless these football players, dancers, cheerleaders, trainers, coaches, band members, and anyone else involved in tonight's game. Watch over these players. I pray that you keep them from injury. I pray that they play their best for you, no matter the team. 
Help us create a healthy environment mentally, physically, and spiritually throughout this night. Thank you for another brand new day. In your name I pray. Amen. Go Hawks. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please rise, direct your attention to the east end of the stadium for the presentation of tonight's colors. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's colors are brought to us by Burgle High School Junior ROTC Hawk Battalion Color, color Guard. They are at right guard, Cadet Jacoby McCoy. The U.S. flag, Cadet Private Aiden Milligan. The Texas flag, Cadet Private Arbissa Yusuf. And at left guard, Cadet Private Mia Davia. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's national anthem is performed by Vocal Edition Choir under the direction of Tara Sikon. Ladies and gentlemen, our national anthem. Again, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Birdville Fine Arts and Athletic Complex this Thursday night, senior night football between the Dallas Molina Jaguars and your Birdville Hawks. Tonight, the Molina Jaguars are coached by Lance Bruner. They bring a 2-2 two and two district record and 3-3 three and three overall record to the match. Birdville Hawks are coached by Lon Holbrook. Their season is at 1-4 and four and a 1-3 and three. Correction, a one and two district match. Birdville has, has their, their one district win is against R.L. Turner. Molina has had victories over South Hills, Dallas Adams, and R.L. Turner. We'll get started in just a few moments. Birdville has elect, uh, won the talk, toss, and they're electing to kick off. And we'll receive in the second half. Kicking over the Hawks, number 21, Mario Minjivar. Kick return by Molina's number one, Terrence Reed. Receive the kick at about the five yard line, return the ball back to the 26 yard line. About a 21 yard return. Jaguars take over, first and 10. Under center for the Molina Jaguars is number two, Aiden Ochoa, in at quarterback. Right 
Pass complete. Number four, Robert Johnson. Pass complete to number four, Robert Johnson. Ball completed down to the 26-yard line of the Hawks. 48 yards down to the 26-yard line. First down for Molina. Tackle on the last play by the Hawks, number 15, James Duvall. Number 25, Quentin Vaughn with that pass. Number four. Pass incomplete. Intended for number one, Reed. Pass incomplete. Intended for Reed. No gain. Second and ten. Defending on the play for the Hawks, number 32, Jaden Effigar. Second down from the 26. Ochoa with a quarterback keeper up the middle. Just over the left side, tackled by the Hawks, number 40, Anthony Martinez. Gain of about three yards, makes it third and seven. Gain of three yards on the play. Brings it third down. Latoya rolls out to the right. Attempting a short pass to number one, Reed completed. Pass complete to Reed. Knocked out of bounds by number 31, Jack Allen for the Hawks. No gain on that play. Stepped out of bounds right about the 20, and, uh, correction, about the 23 yard line. Makes it about fourth and seven for the Jaguars. Not seeing any movement on the sideline. Looks like the Jaguars are going to go for it on fourth down. Snap back to Ochoa. Complete to number four, Johnson. Not much gain. It looks like there's going to be a turnover on downs. Tackled by the Hawks, number 40, Anthony Martinez and several of his friends. Hawks take over. First and 10 on the 22-yard line. Starting at quarterback for the Hawks, number four, Noah Norman. Joining him in the backfield is number three, Mason Eid. Snack back to Norman. Pass attempted, but incomplete. To number nine, Brian Kent. Incomplete, depending on that play, number one, Terrence Reed for the Jaguars. Got a player down. Take an official timeout for just a second. Turning the action, Norman in at quarterback, number four, number three, Ede at running back, second down. Handoff number eight, number three, Ede on the left side, gain of about, looks like about nine yards. We've got flags on the field.
Holding penalty called on the Hawks. 10 yard penalty. Following the penalty, moving the ball back to about the 16 yard line. 10 yard penalty, repeat second down. Second and about 16. Norman in at quarterback. Goes back to pass, looking to the right. Long pass completed to number five, Caleb Kelly. Tackle by, made by number four, Robert Johnson for the Jaguars. Pass completed to the 43-yard line, first and 10, Hawks. And off to the left side, number three, Ede. Tripped up on the last play by number seven, Kingston Chavez. First down run by Ede moves the ball down to the 45 yard line of the Jaguars. First and 10, Birdville. Norman back to pass over the middle. Complete. Complete pass to number six to Corian Patton. Long pass down to about the 20, 20 marked at the 22 yard line. First and 10 for the Hawks. Tackle on the last play by the Jaguars. Number seven, Kingston Chavez, and number 12, Ernesto Rodriguez. First and 10 from the 22 yard line. Norman in pass, pass complete to number two, Davis. Number two, Looks like tackle by number 24 for the Jaguars, Steve Arden. Loss of about one yard, moves the ball back to about the 23 yard line, 20, 23, 24 yard line. Second about, uh, second about 12 yards to go. Second down, Hawks. Norman looking to his left. Pass tipped, but intercepted by the Jaguars. Number seven, Kingston Chavez with the interception. However, there is a flag on the field. Pass interference penalty called on number nine, Corday Fisher. Penalty called on the Jaguars. Hawks, Hawks keep possession. Ball is moved to the spot of the foul. First and 10, Hawks on about the 19 yard line. First and 10. Quarterback, Edie in at running back. Norman's back to pass. Scrambles right up the middle. Breaking away. And in for the score. 19-yard touchdown run by number four, Noah Norman for the Hawks. In for the extra point, number 21, Mario Manjavar, holding on the play is number five, Caleb Kelly, attempting the extra point. Number 
Ladies and gentlemen, the extra point is good with seven minutes, 25 seconds remaining in the first quarter. That makes the Hawks up seven. Birdville Hawks seven, Molina Jaguars zero. We'll be back after this commercial break. Kicking off of the Hawks, number 21, Mario Menjivar. Kick is returned by the Jaguars. Looks like number... On the return for the Jaguars, number 14. Number 18. Number 14. Turn back to about the, looks like about the 28-yard line. Jaguars take over, first and 10. Go to page 83. That's page 83. That ad is Lone Star Wash and Fold. Get a $10 gift card. Also page 91, free queso nachos at Rosa's. Check your program, page 83 and page 91. Turning to action, coming in at quarterback number two, Ochoa. Handoff up the middle. Handoff up the middle. The Quentin Vaughn tackle made by the Hawks number 61. Purchase number 64, C1 Arnold. Handoff number 25, Nick Quentin Vaughn. Gain of about two yards. Second and eight. Ball is marked on the 30 yard line. Snap back to Ochoa. Ochoa looks to his right. Intercepted by the Hawks. Pass intercepted by the Hawks. Number 18, William Chaney. Pass intercepted about the 42-yard line. The Birdville Hawks take over first and 10. Action Norman back in at quarterback. Number two, Jalen Davis in at running back. Snap back to Norman. Pass complete to number nine, Kent. Tackle by the Jaguars, number 11, Marcus Martinez. Gain of about six, second and four. Officials are marking the ball down at about the 36-yard line. Second down for the Hawks. And off to the right to number two, Jalen Davis. Moves the ball down to the 32-yard line. First down run. Ball marked at 32-yard line. First and 10 for the Hawks. Hawks are doing a good job of mixing the run and pass together. Back to pass, looking to his left. Pass complete, but juggled, correction, juggled by number nine, Brian Kent. 
slip right through his hands. Coverage for the Jaguars, number one, Terrence Reed. Covering for the Jaguars, number one, Terrence Reed. Ball still at 32 yard line, second down. And off up the middle to number two, Jalen Davis. Davis on the handoff up the middle. Tackled on the last play by Molina's number, it's like number 99. Gain of about five, third down and five. Ball marked on the 27 yard line. Third down. A gain of five down to the 27 yard line. Brings up third down. Ball snapped back to Norman, pass complete to number three, Ede. Breaking free and in for the score. Birdville Hawks touchdown. 27-yard 20, completion to number three, Ede, for the touchdown. In for the extra point, holding number five, Caleb Kelly, and kicking number 21, Mario Menjivar. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the extra point is good. With four minutes and 46 seconds remaining in the first quarter, that makes the score the Birdville Hawks 14 and the Molina Jaguars zero. We'll be back after this commercial break. Kicking off for the Hawks, number 21, Menjavar. Back deep for Molina, number one, Terrence Reed. And number 14. For the Jaguars. Ball kicked deep. Bounced in the end zone, so a touchback. Molina will take over, first and 10 at the 25. Turning to action, Ochoa with the pass, number two to a wide open Jaguar. Pass complete to number seven, Kingston Chavez. Deep pass. Kingston Chavez. First up bounds from the Hawks, number 15, James DeBall. Knocked out of bounds by the Hawks, number 15, James DeVall. Looks like he knocked him out at about the 24 yard line. Jaguars have the ball first and 10 in Birdville territory. And off up the middle, number 25, and McQuentin the Vaughn. Number 25, McQuentin Vaughn. About an eight yard gain, moves the ball down to about the 16 yard line. The short two yards to go. Second down, Molina.
Ochoa back to pass. Scrambles to the right. Pass thrown out of bounds. All of his receivers are covered well by the Hawks. Now makes it third down and two from the 16 yard line for the Jaguars. off number 25 Quinton pushed out of bounds by the Hawks number 14 Parker Green Quinton Vaughn with the carry first down run looks like they he ran the ball from the got about a five yard game knocked out of bounds at the 11 yard line first and 10 Molina show with the ball Scrambling out to his right or to his left, looking incomplete. All the receivers again well covered by your Hawks. Second down. Quarterback keeper to the right, or to the left, correction. Scrambles down to about the seven yard line. Tackle by the Hawks, number 17, Danny Ochoa, number 40, Anthony Martinez. About a five yard gain, moves the ball down to the six yard line. Third down. Third down for the Jaguars, snap back to Ochoa. Ochoa looks to the right, pass intended for number one, Reed, incomplete. Makes fourth down and five from the six yard line for the Jaguars. Fourth and five from Molina. Snap back to Ochoa, number two. Scrambles up the middle, but brought down by the Hawks. Tackle on the last play by number 33, Jake Broom for the Hawks. Short of the first down. Turnover on downs. Birdville takes over on their own four-yard line. First and ten, Hawks. Snap back to Norman, hands off up the middle, clean run up the middle to number two, Jalen Davis. Tripped up by Johnson. Tripped up on the last play by number four, Robert Johnson moves the ball down to about the 20 yard line, big game. Two minutes and 35 seconds remaining in the first quarter. First down Hawks on the 20. Snap back to Norman, handoff up the middle to Jalen Davis. Jalen Davis 
Pulls his best 110 hurdle leap over the defender, but gets the first down run down to about the 35 yard line. Correction, looks like they marked him down at about the 33, but it is a first down, first and 10, Birdville. Pass intended by Norman to number nine. Brian Kent incomplete. Kent, the intended receiver. Defending on that last play, number one, Terrence Reed for the Jaguars. Second down and 10 for the Hawks. Snap back, hand off to number three, Ede. Breaks away to the left. Tripped up by Molina's number 24, Steve Arden. Another first down run for the Hawks. Steadily moving the ball down to the field, down to the 44-yard line. First and 10 for Birdville. And off the right side for number three, E for the Hawks. Ran into a wall at about the 50 yard line. Eid on the handoff. Getting a little chippy down there. Tackled by number 20, Zach Crumby for Molina. Helmet came off of E, so he'll have to come out at least to play, but subbing in. Like his substitute is number 28, Jamal Ramsey, in it running back. Face back penalty was called on Jaguars. Personal foul. Big 15 yard penalty moves the ball down to about the 35 yard line in the Jaguar territory. Birdville. Has the ball, first and 10, they are moving. About a minute and five seconds remaining in the first quarter. First and 10, Birdville. And running back again for the Hawks, number 28, Jamal Ramsey. Snap and hand off to Ramsey to the left side. Tackled by the Jaguars, number 34, Jalen Quintanilla. Looks like a loss of about two yards. Makes it second and 12 from the 37 yard line. Snap is back to number four, Norman. Pass complete to the left hand side for number 10, Lamar Leggins. Looks like about a three yard gain for the Hawks. Makes it third and seven. Talk about Molina's number one, Terrence Reed. Number nine, Cordae Fisher. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the first quarter. Your Birdville Hawks are up 14 to Molina, zero. We'll be back in just a few moments. Schilling Law, our next sponsor of Schilling Law, helping Hawk families with their immigration law needs for over four years. Located just down the road on Mid City Boulevard. Attorneys are fluent in Mandarin, Chinese, and Spanish. You can contact them today. That's Schilling Law. Thank you for, uh, you can also look for their ad in the Hawks Game Day program. A mighty great thank you to the Schilling Law Firm. Totally 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, returning to action starting the second quarter. Back in it, running back for the Hawks, number three, Mason Ede. Norman rolling to the to the right hand side. Pass complete to number five. It looks like fumbled, recovered by the Hawks. Number eight with the with the fumble recovery. Quentin Giles. Ball marked down on about the 13-yard line. First and 10, your Hawks are moving. Ball snap back to number four. Hand off up just over the left side to number three. Hand off to Ede. Ede. Stopping by the Jaguars, number 24, Arden. Nice gain moves the ball down to about the six-yard six six yard line. line. Second, about three yards to go. Pass by Norman intended for number eight. Quentin Giles incomplete. The right hand Quentin side of the end zone. Covering on that last play were Molina's number five. Caleb Kelly, number seven, Tristan Spain. Third down and about three yards to go from the six yard line for the Hawks. Snap back to Norman. Pass incomplete intended for number five, Caleb Kelly, but we got a flag on the play. Pass incomplete, flag on the play. Pass interference called on the, ja on the Jaguars, number three. KJ Hollins moves the ball down to about the two yard line. First and goal for the Hawks. Ball marked on the two yard line. Norman in at quarterback, hands off. No, he keeps the ball, but fumbles. Norman, Norman fumbled the ball on about the seven yard line. Looks like the Jaguars are gonna take over. First and 10, Molina. Recovering for the Jaguars, number 24, Steve Arden. Molina takes over first and 10 on their own seven yard line. Back in at quarterback for the Jaguars, number two, Ochoa. Handoff to number 25, the Quentin Vaughn. Resuming action, handoff, handoff up to the middle. The Quentin Vaughn. Tackle by the Hawks, number 64, Chawan Arnold. Hawks, number 64, Kaiwan Arnold. Gain of about two yards, moves the ball down to about the nine yard line. Second, ten, second and eight for the Jaguars. Ochoa back to pass, looks to his left. Pass intended for number 14. Pass incomplete. Incomplete, defending on the play for the Hawks. Looks like. Number 17 for the Hawks, Danny Acho. 
third and eight for Molina. Third down for Molina. Snap back to Ochoa. Looking both ways, looking to his left hand side right now. Now scrambling. Tackle behind the line of scrimmage by number 40, Anthony Martinez for the Hawks. Martinez on the tackle for the Hawks. A loss of three back to the six yard line. Loss of three moves the ball back to the six yard line. Fourth and about 11 yards for Molina. Looks like they're bringing in their punting unit this time. Handling the punting duties, it looks like it's going to be number 19, Juan Ramos. Nice, nice punt ball went out of bounds at about the 42 yard line of the Jaguars. Hawks take over first and 10. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight your Hawks are wearing their gold helmets with their black uniforms and gold numbers as well as their gold pants. Molina Jaguars are wearing black helmets with a gray uniform, gray tops, teal numbers, and gray pants with a teal and black stripe down the leg. First and 10, Birdville. And running back for the Hawks, number two, Dalen Davis. Hand off to Davis over the right side. Big scram scrambling, scrambling, scrambling down to about the 26-yard line. Looks like he was brought down by Molina's number five, Isaiah Thomp Thompson. About 11-yard gain. Ball marked to the 26-yard line. First and 10 for your Hawks. Hand off, hand off to the left side to number two. Davis, again on the handoff, left side. Davis nice game. Tripped up by Molina's number seven, Chavez. Chavez number two, Ochoa with the tackle, but a first down run moves the ball down to the 15 yard line. First and 10 for your Hawks. Looks like the turnover didn't hurt him. The Bird, Birdville got the ball back and is returning the ball down deep in Jaguar territory. Ball snapped back to Norman looking to his left. Pass intended for number nine. Brian Kent and touchdown, Birdville Hawks. Fifteen yard touchdown pass completed by number four Noah Norman to number nine Brian Kent. Attempting the extra point for the Hawks, number twenty one, Mario Mingivar, and holding number five, Caleb Kelly. Ladies and gentlemen, the extra point is good. That makes the score with seven minutes forty five seconds remaining in the first half. The Birdville Hawks twenty one. Molina Jaguars zero. We'll be back after these commercial announcements.
Kicking off for the Hawks, number 21, Menjivar. Back deep for the Jaguars, number 25, Naquentin Vaughn. And number 14. 25 Vaughn with her turn. On the loose ball, number 25 Vaughn. 25 Vaughn the fumbled the ball but recovered it. Tackled by the, the Hawks, number 35, Henry Chipman. Vaughn recovered the ball at about the 21 yard line. Molina takes over first and 10. Jaguars. And quarterback number two, Ochoa, looking to his right, scrambling a little bit. Throws the ball out of bounds for an incomplete. Pass All the receivers covered well by the Hawks. Brings up second down. Pass intended for number seven, Kingston Chavez, incomplete. Second down, Molina. Vaughn in it running back. Snap back to Ochoa. Pitches to Vaughn on the right, left side. Tackle for a loss by number 31 for the Hawks, Jack Allen. Taking the pitch again, Vaughn. Yeah, he might have gotten about one gain. It looks like they're about third, third and 11. Gain of about one yard. Ball marked at the 21 yard line. Brings up second down. Ball snap back to Ochoa looking around. Pass complete to his receiver number 12. Ernesto Rodriguez. Looks like we got a flag on the field. Check the flag on the play. Had off sending penalties on both teams, so they it will move the ball or ball will be marked at about the 25 yard line. Fourth down for Molina. Looks like they are going for not attempting to kick with about six and six minutes forty seconds remaining in the first half. Could be trying to draw the Hawks offside. Indeed, that's what they're doing. Looks like we have our first timeout of the game. First timeout by Molina with six minutes, 17 seconds remaining in the first half. We'll be back in just a moment. Hey, fans, direct your attention to the video board. This timeout is brought to you by Horizon 76 and Geller. That's Horizon 76. Chef White has outdone himself with this American Grill House Fair. From the cheesy duck fries, local craft and burgers, the 76 filet, fried chicken pot pie, and bacon wrapped shrimp and scallops. You won't be disappointed with his offerings. Top off your delicious meal with the table roasted s'mores. Built and toasted right at the table from a combination of house-made marshmallows, Hershey's milk, chocolate, and graham crackers. Horizon 76, home of the Hawks table roasted s'mores. You can look for their ad in the Hawks game day program on the inside back cover. Once again, a mighty green thank you to Horizon 76, proud, proud timeout sponsor of your Virgil Hawks. 
Turn it action. Fourth down and ten. Fourth down and about six. Pass complete to number 25 for Molina. McQuinton Vaughn. The fourth down gamble going for it on fourth looks appeared to work. They moved the ball down to about the 36 yard line. First and 10 for Molina. Like any got to change a quarterback for Molina. Number three, KJ Hollins is in. Direct snap back to number 25. Hand off to number three, Hollins. That was a direct snap back to the one of the running backs, the Quentin Vaughn, but he handed off to number three, Hollins. Gain of about two yards on that last play. Number 40, Anthony Martinez with a tackle on about the 38 yard line. Second eight yards for Molina. Fumble on the play, but recovered. Picked up by number three, Collins on the left side. Got a few yard gain out of that. Looks like tackled by number 17, Danny Acho. Tackle on about 39 yard line. Gain of about one yard. Looks like about third and seven. Back in at quarterback for the Hawks, Aiden Ochoa, number two. Two men in the backfield, number 25, Vaughn, and number three, Hollins. Pass complete to number 25, Vaughn. Got a first down. Tackle it about the, on the Birdville 40-yard line by number 18, William Chaney. Big first down pass completion by the Jaguars. Four minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the first half. Ball moved down to the 40-yard line of the Hawks. First and 10, Molina. And off up the middle of number three, Hollins. Resuming action, Hollins on the handoff. Met a big middle. brick wall of the Hawks. Arnold on the tackle for the Hawks. Tackle by the Hawks, number 64, Arnold. Gain of about two yards. Moves the ball down to the Hawk 38 yard line. Second and eight from the 38 yard line. Brings up second down. Ocho with the keeper off the left side. Dragged down by the Hawks, number 51. On the quarterback keeper, again, number two, Ochoa. Tackle man of the Hawks, number 51, Chief Ugwogu. Gain of about two yards. It looks like it's about third and six to go with the, on the 36 yard line for the Hawks. They're down Molina, back in at quarterback Ochoa in the backfield by himself, snap back to Ochoa, looking around, going to his right. Looks like throws the ball out of bounds. Nobody was open, incomplete. Fourth down, Jaguars. Looks like we have a flag on the field. Nope, they're waving off the flag. So fourth down for Jaguars. No flag on the play. Brings up fourth down. Fourth down for Molina. Number two, Ochoa. Number 25, Vaughn in the backfield for the Jaguars. Fourth and about six yards to go. Two minutes, 56 seconds remaining in the first half.
Snaps back to Ochoa. He's rolling, rolling to his right. Passing complete. Intended for number one, Terrence Reed. Turnover on downs. Your Hawks take over. First and 10 on their own 36-yard line. First and 10 with two minutes, 53 seconds remaining in the first half. And a quarterback for the Hawks, number four, Norman. Looking to his left. Pass complete to number five, Kelly. Tackle on the last play by number one, Terrence Reed, but we had a couple flags on the field. Kelly's coming up limping a little bit. Referees are trying to conferring, trying to figure out what happened. We'll get an answer here in just a moment. To paint the best picture I can. Holding penalty called on the Hawks. Unsportsmanlike penalty called on Molina. First down for Birdville. We actually had two flags and one hat on the field. Birdville has the ball on their own 43-yard line. First and 10 with 2 minutes 47 seconds remaining in the first half. Looks like the backfield's stacked with number four, Norman, and number two, Davis. Clock is rolling. Timeout on the field. Second timeout for the Molina Jaguars. Timeout on the field. We'll be back after this commercial break. Ladies and gentlemen, returning to action. Two minutes, 39 seconds remaining in the first half. Birdville has the ball first and 10 on their own 43-yard line. Handoff over to the right side to number two, Davis, breaking free. Looks like he got down to about the 40, correction, 39-yard line of Molina. Big first down run. Tackled by the Jaguars, number one, Terrence Reed. 18-yard run on that last play by Davis. Moves the ball down 39-yard line. First and 10 for Birdville. Two minutes, 10 seconds remaining in the first half. Norman back to pass. Incomplete pass to the left side to number nine, Brian Kent. Fending on that last play, number nine, Cordae Fisher. 
incomplete. Second and ten, Burville. Head off over to the left side, number three, E didn't end up running back. Brought down by the Jaguars, number 60, Prince Gregory. Uh, looks like he got a game of about three yards. Makes it third and seven from the 36 yard line. About a minute and 45 seconds remaining in the first half. Third down. Snap back to Norman. Pass complete to number 82, Cameron Cortez. Tackle on the last play by number three, KJ Hollins. Moves the ball down to about the 31 yard line. Fourth and two. Timeout on, on that last play called by the Birdville Hawks. That's their first timeout with a minute and 22 seconds remaining in the first half. We'll be back in just a moment. Once again, this timeout brought to you by Horizon 76. That's Horizon 76. You remember them with the Taylor Rose Spores? I'm sure you do. That's Horizon 76 located in Keller. You can find their ad on the back, inside back cover of the Hawks Game Day program. Thank you, Horizon 76, our proud, proud timeout sponsor for your Purple Hawks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, return to action. It's fourth and two on about the 31-yard line for the Hawks. Got a flag on the field before they ever got started. Legal substitution called on Birdville. Five-yard penalty moves the ball back to the 36-yard line. Still fourth down, fourth and about... Seven yards to go. The result of the penalty news the ball back to the 36 yard line brings up fourth down. Looks like the Hawks are going for it. And it running back to the Hawks, number three, Ede, and, and quarterback number four, Noah, Noah Norman. Fourth down. Snap back to Norman, looking to his left hand, looking over the middle. Pass intended for number five, Caleb Kelly, incomplete. Turnover on downs. Molina takes over, first and ten for the Jaguars. Minute 17 seconds remaining in the first half. Molina has the ball on their own 36-yard line, first and ten for the Jaguars. Ladies and gentlemen, returning to play. In the quarterback, number two, Ochoa. Looks like we've got uh, flag called. Flag on the field. False start penalty called on the offense. Molina's got a five-yard penalty. Moves the ball back to about the 31-yard line. Repeat first down, first and 15 for the Jaguars.
Snap back to Ochoa. Pass complete to the left side. Number 14. Knocked out of bounds by the Hawks. Number 18, William Chaney. Knocked out of bounds about the 43 yard line. Gain of about seven. Second and three. A minute and eight seconds remaining in the first half. Snap back to number two, Ochoa, looking over to his right hand side. Receivers are covered well by the Hawks, throwing the ball out of bounds. Third down, Jaguars. Third down, about three yards for the Jaguars. Ball's marked on about the 43-yard line. Snap is back to Ochoa, looking to his right. Now scrambling up the middle. Brought down behind the line of scrimmage Ochoa. by the Hawks. On the quarterback keeper, tackle for a loss on the play. Tackle on the last play by the Hawks, number 33. Jake Broom and number 44, Cal, Cal El Castillo. Timeout on the field for. Timeout on the field looks like by the Hawks. Fourth down and six yards to go with about 51 seconds remaining. We'll take a quick timeout ourselves. We'll be back in just a moment. Turning to action after the timeout, Ochoa was in the backfield by himself. Fourth down, he's got two, two receivers on the left, two receivers on the right, looking down the middle. Pass incomplete, intended for number one, Reed. Defending on the last play for the Hawks, number 14, Parker Green, almost intercepted. However, the Hawks do take over. 45 seconds remaining. Hawks have the ball on the 45 yard line. First and 10, Bartville. Correction, looks like they've got the ball marked at about the 40 yard line. First and 10 for the Hawks. 45 seconds remaining, first half. Snaps back to number four, Norman. Looks to his left. Pass com incomplete. Intended for number Pass nine, complete. Brian Kent. Intended Tipped up in the air by the Green Jaguars. Green number one, Terrence Reed. The incomplete. incomplete. Second, down. Second down for the Hawks. Still about 40 seconds remaining in the first half. Second and 10. Norm, Norman scrambling to his left, looking down the left-hand side, pass incomplete. But we got a flag on the play. Flag on the play. Preliminary judgments are look that it might be an offsides penalty, but let's see what the officials have to say. Offside, Offside penalty called on Molina, number 99. Five-yard penalty. Looks like we got an official timeout, got a player down. We'll be back in just a moment. Number three, KJ Holland, shaking up on the play for the Jaguars. Yeah. 
Laying a player up, walking off the field on his own, which is good. Turning from the official timeout, it's second down, about five yards to go for the Hawks, 34 seconds remaining. Snap is back to number four, Norman, looking to his left, looking downfield. Pass intended for number nine, Kent. Looks like it was intercepted. Pass intercepted, number one, Kent. Pass intercepted by the Jaguars, number one, Reed, at about the three-yard line. Molina takes over, first and ten. Molina takes over first and 10 on their own three yard line. About 26 seconds remaining in the first half. Ochoa in at quarterback. Snap back to Ochoa, hands off to number 25. McQuentin Vaughn, number 25. Tackle by the Hawks, number 44. Cal L. Castillo. Looks like number 64, Arnold. No gain on that last play. Ladies and gentlemen, Ladies and gentlemen that's the end of the first half of the score. The Burville Hawks 21, the Dallas Molina Jaguars 0. We'll return after great halftime entertainment by the Burville Hawks band as well as the Molina Jaguar band. We'll be back in a few moments. Officers are Social Officer Emma Gutierrez, JV Lieutenant Gabriela Rodriguez, JV Lieutenant Alyssa Campos, JV Lieutenant Ella Gutierrez, Historians Mia Moreno, Historians Destiny Estrada, Sergeant Alia Rodriguez, Sergeant Ava Gill, Vice President Anaí Bernal, President Areli Yanes, Lieutenant Sarah Barrera, First Lieutenant Jasmine Garay, Captain Giselle Gonzalez, JD Rosette of the Week, Alyssa Campos, Varsity Rosette of the Week, Emma Calvo. The Rosettes would like to dedicate their performance to the marching band. We are ready for a great season of Jaguar Pride.
the Rosettes will present their jazz routine to feel this moment. Choreographed by Gabi Rangel, with music by Pitbull and Christina Aguilera. The Rosettes are under the direction of Damien Padilla and Gabby Rangel. The Rosettes would like to thank the Rosettes alumni and parents for their support. Ladies and gentlemen, the Molina High School Rosettes. Member of the week, Angela Lopez. Color guard member of the week. Yatsiri Muro. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the field the mighty Molina Jaguar Band. The Molina Jaguar Band is under the field direction of drum majors Christina Wilkins and Kenny Garcia. Band officers are woodwind captain Noah Navarrete, high brass captain Aaron Guevara, low brass captain David Tolentino, and percussion captain Kenny Garcia. The Molina Band would like to thank the Molina administrative staff for all their support. Special thanks to Head Principal Jacob Munoz for all his support of the Fine Arts Department at Molina High School. The Jaguar Band will be performing selections from their 2023 UIL marching show, Sueños. Please put your hands together for the Molina High School Jaguar Marching Band.
applause for the Molina High School Band. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the band staff and band parents of Birdville High School Mark Mighty Hawk Band, we would like to recognize and personally thank each senior band member by presenting them with a small token of our appreciation, a message that reads, the Mighty Hawk Band, class of 2024. We start with Jacob Anstey, escorted by his mother, Mindy Anstey, and his father, Judd Anstey. Edward Butler, escorted by his father, Casey Butler, and his mother, Monique Butler. <laughs> Bethany Caceres, escorted by her father, Daniel Caceres, and her mother, Sharon Caceres. <laughs> Sharon Castillo, escorted by her mother, Irma Castillo, and her father, Olin Castillo. Brandon Klein, escorted by his father, Dale Klein, and his mother, Sharon Klein. Leda Cruz, escorted by her mother, Adriana Chavez, and her father, Javier Cruz. Kai Franklin, escorted by her father, Carlton Franklin, and her mother, Dee Franklin. Kylie Galavides, escorted by her father, Ben Galavides, and her mother, Crystal Galavides, and her future hot little brother, Casey. Elizabeth Gardner, escorted by her mom, Ashley Gardner, and her dad, Aaron Gardner. Dallas Gordon, escorted by his mother, Lacey Carroll, and his grandfather, James Riggs. Mackenzie Guess, escorted by her mother, Jennifer Guess, and her father, Douglas Guess. Riley Hamilton, escorted by her father, Brian Hamilton, and her mother, Shane Hamilton. Grayson Higginbotham, escorted by his mother, Elaine Higginbotham, and his father, Eric Higginbotham. Elijah Holdeman, escorted by his father, Eric Holdeman, and his mother, Lee Holdeman.
Garrett Hunt, escorted by his mother, Malia Hunt, and his father, Stephen Hunt. Ella Kinney, escorted by her mother, Abby Kinney, and announced by her father, David Kinney. Way to go, girl. I'm proud of you. Vincent Langston, escorted by his father, David Langston, and his mother, Kathy Langston. Dawson Lynch, escorted by his father, Lee Lynch, and his mother, Rivera Lynch. Minerva Lawrence, escorted by her mother, Tammy Valenzuela. Joey Love, escorted by his father, Danny Love. Julie Lynch, escorted by her mother, Misty Lynch, and her father, Sean Lynch. Ethan McCutcheon, escorted by his father, Matt McCutcheon, and his mother, Sharon McCutcheon. Layla McFarland, escorted by her mother, Stephanie McFarland, and her father, Jeremy McFarland. Philip McElvain, escorted by his mother, Lisa McElvain, and his father, Kevin McElvain. Megan McMahon, escorted by her mother, Susie Lampard. Colin McWilliams, escorted by his mother, Stacy McWilliams, and his father, Kevin McWilliams. Mendoza, escorted by her mother, Graciela Bellas, and her father, Armando Mendoza, and her brother, Armando Mendoza. <laughs> Catherine Pace, escorted by her mother, Melissa Pace, her father, Wayne Pace, and her stepmother, Stacy Pace. Erica Pareda, escorted by her mom, Cassandra Taylor, and her father, Michael Taylor. Garrett Peterson, escorted by his mother, Amy Peterson, and his father, Todd Peterson. Kevin Fan, escorted by his father, Matt Fan. Vincent Fan, escorted by his mother, Lisa Fan. Adriana Pruitt, escorted by her mother, Samantha Pruitt, and her father, Drew Pruitt. Isabel Shoup, escorted by her father, Don Shoup, and his mother, Kim Shoup. Peyton Shannon, escorted by her father, Boyd Shannon, and her mother, Nicole Shannon. Ashley Spiker, escorted by her father, Edward Spiker. Carter Topper, escorted by his mother, Amber Topper. Cornell Watson, escorted by his mother, Brittany Beagler, and his stepdad, Britt Beagler. John Wyatt, escorted by his mom, Carrie Nixon. Samantha Young, escorted by her father, John Swiley. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big hand to the Mighty Hawk Band Senior Class of 2024. <laughs> Moving on with our program, we would like to also like to recognize the seniors in the Golden Motion. We begin 
with Hannah Figueroa, Figueroa, escorted by Kendra and David Figueroa. Daniela Garrison, escorted by Mia Garrison. Blakely Gibbs, escorted by Tashana and Carl Marlin. Lexi Iwanu, escorted by Kelly and George Iwanu. Ella Parton, escorted by Erica and Daniel Parton. Jordan Spiller, escorted by Tabitha Spiller. Sydney Spiller, escorted by James Spiller. Ladies and gentlemen, the Senior Golden Motion Class of 2024. One more round of applause for all of our seniors in the Golden Motion and the Mighty Hawk Band. The annual Junior Dance Clinic is Saturday, October 14th. The final day to register is tomorrow, October 6th. Our first annual prep clinic for the 2024 school year is Saturday, November 11th. For more information and to register, visit BirdmillDance.com. Join us for our annual fall dance show, December 7th at 7 p.m. to see performances by Dan Ocean, J.P. Bell, NTA, Gabrielle Lynn, and Fine Arts Dance Classes. Be sure to stay connected and follow programs on Instagram and Facebook at Birdville Dance and at Mighty Hawk Band. Now taking the field is the 10-time national champion Golden Motion Dance Team. The Golden Motion is under the direction of Miss Ali Huda, with assistance from Miss Debbie Green. The Golden Motion is performing a kick routine to Love Runs Out. Thank you to our diamond sponsors, Kate Lake, Alex Smith, and Vision Dance Production, Batteries Plus, Class 101, College Planning and Mid Cities, Double Tech Dance Studio, Dream Diners, Hall Insurance Services, JMB Associates, Jump Loaders,
like to thank Principal Tim Drysdale, Assistant Principals Jennifer Beasley, Alan Wallace, Evie Tinsman, and John Daly We would also like to thank the Director of Fine Arts for BASD, Mr. Danny Dietrich, Assistant Fine Arts Director, Mr. Mark McGahey, and the Associate Superintendent, Mr. Skip Baskerville, and the Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Gail Stinson. Thank you for being a great audience, and we hope you enjoy tonight's performance. And as always, let's go! All right, ladies and gentlemen, halftime half festivities have ended. We're about to get started in the second half. I've got some statistics for you for the Birdville Hawks. Our rushing yards, 132 rushing yards, 104 passing yards for a total of 236 total yards. The Hawks have 13 first down. They've completed one of three third downs. Their time of possession is 12 minutes and 33 seconds with two, turno two turnovers. Three penalties for 25 yards. Our leading rusher is Jalen Davis, seven carries, 83 yards. Leading receiver, Caleb Kelly, one reception, 27 yards. And our defensive leader is number seven, Tristan Spain, with four tackles. For Molina, their rushing yards, are first half statistics are 51 rushing yards, passing for 134 for a total of 181. They have six first downs and have completed one of seven for third downs. Their time of possession is about 11.27. One turnover, five penalties for 53 yards. Their leading rushers are uh, number 25, Naquentin Vaughn, seven carries, 38 yards, and receiver number seven, Kingston Chavez, two receptions for 49 yards. Defensive leaders number 40, Luis Medina with five tackles. We'll get started with our second half in just a few moments. Kicking off for the Jaguars, number 19, Juan Ramos. Squib kick, real short one. Can't tell who covered it. Looks like it might have been number five for the Hawks. It was number five, Caleb Kelly uh, with the recovery. Birdville Hawks take over first and 10 on about their, looks like their 42 yard line. First and 10, Birdville. In the backfield for the Hawks, number three, Mason Ede. And in quarterback, number four, Noah Norman. Ball snap back to Norman. Hand off to number three, Ede, right up the middle. Tripped up by the Molina Jaguars, number one, Terrence Reed. Gain of about four yards, second and six. Second down for the Hawks. Ball snap back to Norman. Hand off up the middle again to number three, E. Look over the right side, getting a good scamper down the right-hand side. Tripped up and knocked down by number one, Terrence Reed. Three, Ede. Tackle made by the Jaguars, number 24, 
Tackle made by the Jaguars, number 24, Steve Arden. That's a first down for the Hawks, pick up of 18 on the play. First and 10 Hawks on, their own, on the Molina 36 yard line. Hand, over, hand off to the left side to number three, Ede. Tackled for the third time in a row by number one, Terrence Reed. Lose the ball to the 29 yard line. Seven yard gain, second and three on the 29 yard line for the Hawks. Hand off again to number three, E. Good game. This is becoming a, a normal here for handoff to Eden. Tackled by number one, Terrence Reed for the Jaguars for the fourth play in a row. First down run for the Hawks. Gain of about seven yards. Ball marked down on the 22 yard line. First and 10, Birdville. And off straight up to middle to E. This time it's not number one. Mason Looks like he was tackled by number 60, Prince Gregory. Gain of about three yards, second and seven. Ball marked down on the 19 yard line. Second down for the Hawks. Nine minutes, 36 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Balls, Birdville's keeping the ball on the ground. With some great success here in the second half. Looks like a handoff up the middle to number two, Davis. Didn't get much right there. Looks like he's brought down by number 99 and number 34, Jalen Quintanilla for the Hawks, or for the Jaguars. No gain on that last place. Third down, still seven yards to go for the Hawks. Ball on the 19 yard line. Ball snapped back to Norman. Looking to the left, pass complete to number two, Davis. Tripped up at about the line of scrimmage by number three, KJ Hollins for the Jaguars. Yeah, that gate looks like he got a gain of about one yard, so it's fourth and six for the Hawks. A gain of one on the play to the 18 yard line. That brings up fourth down for Burkeville. Fourth down for the, for the Hawks on the 18 yard line. Fourth and about six yards to go. Hawks are going for it. Snap is back to number four, Norman. Looking to his right, sees a receiver. Receiver tripped and fell down. Number five, Caleb Kelly, incomplete. Turnover on downs. Molina takes over, first and 10 on their own 18 yard line. Starting the second half in the backfield for Molina, number 25. Vaughn and number two, Ochoa. Hand off. No pass complete to the right to number seven, Kingston Chavez. Looks like a gain of about eight yards. Let's see where they mark it. Looks like they're marking it about the. Oh, correction. They got a first down on that. They're mark marking the ball down at the 28 yard line. First and 10 for the Jaguars. Official timeout on the field. We got, looks like we've got a Hawk down on the field. Number 18. We'll be back in just a moment.
Good news, number 18, William Cheney is up and walking off the field on his own. Back to action. Lena has the ball on their own 18-yard line. Ochoa has the ball. Uh, snap back to Ochoa, looking to his right. Passing incomplete, intended for number one, Terrence Reed. Pass incomplete, intended for Reed. The ball in coverage for the Hawks. Finney on that last play for the Hawks. Number 15, James Duvall. Pass is incomplete. Second down ball still marked at the 28 yard line. Off number 25, Vaughn up the middle. Taking the snap to Jaguars. Vaughn. Ran right up the middle into a whole bunch of Hawks. Looks like number 44 for the Hawks. Calel Castillo leading the tacklers. Came of about four yards, third and six. Ball's marked at 32 yard line. Six minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Off of number three for the Jaguars, KJ Hollins. Hand off to Hollins. Martinez again on the south for the Hawks. Anthony Martinez, number 40 for the Hawks with the tackle. Ball, just the ball marked at about the 35 yard line, gain of a few. Fourth down and about three yards to go. Looks like Molina's going to go with go for it and not attempt. They've got two running backs in the backfield, number three, Hollins, and number 25, Vaughn. Direct snap back to Vaughn, number 25, going to the right side. Tackled by number 40 for the Hawks. Anthony Martinez stops short of the first down. Turnover on downs. Birdville takes over, first and 10. Looks like they're marking the ball at about the... 37 yard line of Molina. Great stop by the Hawks. Birdville takes over first and 10. We'll be back in just a second. Looks like there's some confusion on the field. Not sure. A little bit of a delay. Officials are figuring things out. 
Now we're going back, about to start play again now. Burville has the ball on about the 37 yard line. First and 10, Hawks hand off up the middle to number two, Davis. Ran over to the right side. Correction, that's number three, Ede. But we've got a couple flags on the field. Too many men on the field for the Jaguars. Penalty was declined by Birdville. Ball is now marked at the 26 yard line. First and 10 for the Hawks. Legal substitution penalty on that last play. Molina had 12 men on the field. Birdville takes over first and 10. Ball snapped back to Norman. Hand off to the left side. Goes to Ede. Brought down by the Jaguars. Number 60, Prince Gregory. Gain of about two yards. Second and eight. Ball's marked at the 24-yard line. Second down. About five minutes left in the third quarter. Norman's got the ball, passes back to the right to running back Ede. Running the right side, breaking free. Looks like he got tackled down at about the three yard line, br brought down by the, by the Jaguars, number five, Isaiah Thompson, and number 11, Marcus Martinez. Looks like they marked the ball down at the three yard line. First and goal for Birdville. Into the backfield, of course, number four, Norman, and also number two, Davis, for the Hawks at running back. Four minutes and 15 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Hand off up the middle to number two, Davis. Might have gained a yard. Didn't get a whole lot of movement, line action. Tackled by the Jaguars, number 60, Gregory. Gain of about, it looks like they gave him one yard. Ball's marked at the two yard line. Second goal from the two. And off left side to number two for the touchdown. Jalen Davis, two yard touchdown round for the Birdville Hawks. Second half, the Birdville Hawks have kept it on the ground for the most part and have been very successful moving the ball. In for the extra point, number 21, Mario Menjivar kicking, in num and number five, Caleb Kelly holding. Ladies and gentlemen, the extra point is good. With three minutes, 40 seconds remaining in the third quarter, that makes the score the Birdville Hawks 28, the Molina Jaguars 0. We'll be back after these commercial messages. Jaguars, number one, Terrence Reed, number 14, Sammy Sanders. 
Mijavar kicking off for the Hawks. Kicking off for the Hawks, number 21, Menjivar. Turning the ball, number 14, Sammy Sanders for the Jaguars. Turns the ball back to the 30-yard line. Molina takes over first and 10 with three minutes, 32 seconds remaining in the third quarter. First and 10, Jaguars. Turning to action in the backfield for the Jaguars, number three, K.J. Hollins, number 25, McQuinton Vaughn, and in at quarterback, Ochoa, number two. Pass complete to number one, Terrence Reed. Knocked out of bounds by the Hawks, number 14, Parker Green. Looks like the ball is marked at about the 46-yard line. First and 10. For after a 16-yard gain, first and 10 for the Jaguars. And off the right side, number three, Hollins. Fumble on the play. Let's see if they've marked him down. Looks like they marked uh, the ball was marked down on the field by a carry after, uh, by number three Hollins. Ball marked down at the 49-yard line. Gain of about three yards. Three yards. Second and seven. Snap back to Ochoa. Pitt throws to the right-hand side over to number seven. Kingston Chavez. Number seven, Kingston Chavez. Stop made by the Hawks, number 32, Jaden Nefegar. Tackle made by the Hawks, number 32, Jaden Nefegar. The ball marked at about the 40 yard line. First and 10 for the Jaguars. A gain of 11 on the play and a first down for Molina. First and 10 of the Jaguars on the Hawks' 40-yard line. Snap back to number two, Ochoa. Scrambling to his left, sees a receiver. Running back, number 25, complete to number 25, Vaughn. Pass complete down to the 25-yard line. Game of about 15 yards. Tackle by the Hawks, number 16, James Mwary. Tackle by the Hawks, number 16, James Mwary. Ball marked on exactly the 25-yard line. First and 10 for the Jaguar. Bond and Ochoa in the backfield. Ball snapped back to Ochoa, number two. Scrambling to his right, looking to the right. Finds a receiver wide open, number one. Terrence Reed, touchdown for the Jaguars. 25-yard touchdown pass by number two, Aiden Ochoa, completed to number one, Terrence Reed, for the touchdown. Like handling the kicking duties for, duties for Molina's number 19, Juan Ramos, holding number two, Aiden Ochoa, in for the extra point. The extra point is blocked. Being returned by one of the Hawks, number 20. The kick 
Turn back to about the 39-yard line, but we do have a flag on the field on that extra point attempt. Right now they're all walking back towards where they were kicking the extra point. Looks like it could be on Birdville. We'll wait and see what the refs decide. And sportsmanlike conduct called on number 38 for the Hawks. With that penalty, they will re-kick. However, it looks like the Jaguars are going to go for it, go for the extra point with a two-point conversion. Ocho is in at quarterback. Snaps back to Ochoa, he's scrambling to the right, scrambling to the right. And he's in for the two-point conversion. The two-point conversion is good. Ladies and gentlemen, with one minute and 30 seconds remaining in the third quarter, that makes the score of the Birdville Hawks 28, the Dallas Molina Jaguars 8. We'll return after these commercial breaks. Turn into action, about to kick off. Back deep for the Hawks, number eight, Quentin Giles. Kicking off for Molina, number 19, Juan Ramos. Last time they kicked the ball short. Let's see what they do this time. Another squib kick. Looks like the ball went out of bounds at about the 46-yard line. Flag comes out. Kicking the ball out of bounds on the kickoff of what will result in a five-yard penalty. In this case, normally, it, 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 it depending on where it goes out, it's marked out at about the 30. But this time, with the five-yard penalty, it's marked out. And with the penalty at the 49-yard line of Molina, Dall uh, Birdville takes over first and 10. Snap back to Norman. Hand off to number three, E. He's scampering, running down to the middle. Looks like they're going to mark him down at about the 33-yard line. 24-yard rushing gain. Correction, 16-yard rushing gain by number three, E. Moves the ball down to about the 33-yard line. First and 10 for the Hawks. And off up the middle to number two. Davis scampering up the middle. Looks like they're going to stop him down at about the 23-yard line, about a 10-yard gain. But we do have a flag on the field. Let's see what they're calling. Personal foul penalty called on Molina, number 20. 
blocking below the waist. Half the distance to the goal penalty. Looks like we'll see where they mark it down. Following the penalty, looks like they're going to put it down at about the 16, on the 16 yard line. First and 10 for the Hawks. Correction, that's marked at the 12 yard line. Handoff off the middle of number two, Davis. Last play started from about the 12 yard line. Ball marked down at the three yard line. Nine yard gain. Second and one from the three. Hand off up the middle of number two. Davis in for the score. Ladies and gentlemen. Three-yard touchdown run by number two, Jalen Davis, for the score. Ten in attempting the extra point for the Hawks, number 21, Mario Menjivar kicking and holding, number five, Caleb Kelly. The extra point is blocked. Recovered by the number 21, Menjivar, for the Hawks. Saw the penalty that time. Penalty again. Looks like it's going to be the same play. Or the same penalty. Offsides penalty on Molina. Offsides defense, number one, Terrence Reed. Virgo will be attempting again the extra point. No offsides this time, ladies and gentlemen. The extra point is good. Four seconds remaining. That makes your new score. The Birdville Hawks, 35. Molina Jaguars, 8. We'll be back in just a few moments after this commercial break. Turning to action, kicking off for the Hawks, number 21, Menjivar, back deep for the Jaguars. Number one, Terrence Reed, number 14, Sammy Sanders. Four seconds remaining in the third quarter. Looks like we have a new kicker in the game for the Hawks. Number 29, Kyler Horton's in handling the kicking duties here. Horton with a deep kick. Looks like covered by number one. Terrence Reed at about the eight yard line. Knocked out of bounds by the Hawks. Number 27, Jonathan Daniel. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the third quarter with the score, the Birdville Hawks 35. The Molina Jaguars eight. We'll return in just a moment.
Looks like we had a penalty called on that last play there. The penalty was on the kicking team. Penalty be marked off on, on the spot of the foul. Fifteen yard penalty will move the ball. The Hawks will be kicking off from about the Correction, looks like the Jaguars will be taking over first and 10 on their own 32 yard line. In the backfield for the Jaguars, number 25, Vaughn. Snap back to Ochoa, quick pass to the right. Pass complete to number one, Terrence Reed. Knocked out of bound by the Hawks, number 31, Jack Allen. Gain of about five yards, second and 10 from the 37 yard line. Ochoa to the pass, the left side, pass intended. Pass complete, intended, for intended for number eight, Sincere Wilkinson, Wilkinson incomplete. Third and Show with the pass. Pass attempted to number one. Terrence Reed incomplete. Makes it fourth down. Fourth and five for Molina, 11 minutes and 35 seconds remaining in the game. Ball's marked on the 37 yard line. Looks like they are attempting, attempting to go for it on fourth down. Ochoa, the quarterback, the only man in the backfield right now. Snap back to Ochoa, looking left, left. Found a receiver incomplete, intended for number 25, Vaughn. Just over his hands. Turnover on downs. Hawks take over. 37 yard line of Molina. First and 10, Birdville. ball on the 37 yard line. No in at quarterback. Handing off off the middle to number 22 of the Hawks, Yvonne Almarez. Almarez with about a two yard gain marks the ball down at the 35 yard line. Second and eight for the Hawks. Tackle by number 14 for the Jaguars, Sammy, Sammy Sanders. Second and eight for the Hawks. Quick pass by Norman to number five, Isaiah Correction, Caleb Kelly. Pass complete, number five, Caleb Kelly. 
pass complete to Kelly. Knocked out of bounds by Molina's number one, Reed, and number 14, Sanders. Nice gain down to the 26-yard line, first and 10, Birdville. Back to Norman, handoff up the middle, just off the light, left side, number 22, Ivan Almaraz. Nice gain of about five yards. Second and five. Tackle by Molina's number 11, Marcus Martinez. Ball marked on the 21 yard line, second down. And off the right side, number 22, Almaraz. Almaraz on the handoff right side. Stop made by Thompson. Again, about five yards. First down run for Almaraz. Moves the ball down to the 16 yard line. Ball is in the red zone. First and 10 for the Hawks. Straight up the middle to Almaraz. Good, nice game. Almaraz hand off up the middle. Hollins on the tackle. Brought down by the Jaguars, number three, Hollins. Looks like we have an official timeout. A, a Molina player is Hollins down. Play. Official timeout. Turning to action. Molina's number three, Hollins, is walking off the field with a little help. Good news, he is up and moving. Looks like that last play was about six yards, second down and four from the 10 yard line. And off number 22 up the middle for the score. 10-yard touchdown run by number 22, Yvonne Almarez for the Hawks. Attempting the extra point for the Hawks, number 29, Kyler Horton. Holding the extra point, number five, Caleb Kelly. Flag on the play, looks like we've got another offsides. Let's see what they call. Ooh, wrong. False start on the, on the Hawks. Five yard penalty, moves the ball back to about the eight yard line. They will be attempting the extra point from the eight.
kick will be from the 15. Makes it a 25 yard extra point. However, it is good. The extra point is good. We do have oh, we do have a little scuffling down on the field and a couple flags thrown. Remaining in the game, our score, Birdville 42 and Molina 8. Ladies and gentlemen, nine minutes and three seconds remaining in the game. That makes the score. The Birdville Hawks 42, the Molina Jaguars 8. You know, we had a couple flags on the field. Let's see what happened. We had two unsportsmanlike conduct calls, one on Birdville, one on Molina. Number two for Molina was ejected for the game. And will be removed from the field. Back deep for the Jaguars, number one, Terrence Reed, number 14, Sammy Sanders. Kicking off for the Hawks, number 29, Kyler Horton. Nice deep kick. Carried by number 14. Took off at about the eight yard line. Knocked out of bounds. About the 30 yard line after a 22 yard return. Returns go down to the 30 yard line. Call it a 22 yard return. First down for Molina. Number 14, Sammy Sanders with a 22-yard return out to the 30-yard line. Jaguars take over first and 10. Quarterback in for the Jaguars. Number four, Robert Johnson. Pass completed to number seven, Kingston Chavez. Pass complete. Number seven, Kingston Chavez. Knocked out of bounds at about the 37 yard line. Seven yard gain. Makes it second and three with about eight minutes and 40 seconds remaining in the game. Back to Johnson, handing off to number 25, Vaughn, up the middle. In a quarterback for the Jaguars, down number Looks four, like he Johnson might have, he did, got the first down. The first down run down to about the 40-yard line. First and 10, Jaguars. Stopping to the Hawks, number 34, Daniel Civilian. A gain of two on the play. That's the first down. Quarterback keeper number four, Johnson, on the right side. Getting tackled by a swarm of Hawks. Johnson keeping on the play. 
Martinez leading the Hawk tacklers. Johnson lost about a yard. Ball's about the 39 yard line. Anthony Martinez, number 40, leading the tacklers. The play. Brings up second down. For the Hawks, second down and 11. Snap back to the quarterback, number four, Johnson, looking to his right, left. Nice scrambling to his left. Throws the ball out of bounds. Pass incomplete. Pass is incomplete. Third and 11. That brings up third down. Third and 11 from the 39 yard line. Looks like we have a timeout by Molina. Timeout called by Molina. We will return after this commercial break. Back to number four, Johnson, rolling to his left. Pass intended for number one, That's Reed, incomplete. Point. That makes fourth down for the Jaguars. Intended for number 14, Sammy Sanders. That brings up fourth down. Molina's back to punt. Handling the punting duties are number 19, Juan Ramos for the Jaguars. Turning the punt for the Hawks, number five, Caleb Kelly. Nice end over end punt. Ball's rolling down. They mark the ball down at the six yard line, first and 10 for the Hawks. Ladies and gentlemen, in, in a quarterback for the Hawks, number 11, Victor Garza. Hand off to the right side for number 24, Ashton Grant. Looks like he had no gain. Ball still marked at the six yard line. Second 10. Six minutes left in the game. Birdville's leading 42 to eight. Snap back to number 11, Garza. Rolling to the left side. Got a nice game. Tripped up by the Jaguars number 10, Vasquez. Stop 
Ball marked at the 11-yard line. Gain of about five. Third and five. Five minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the game. Back to guards, a pass complete, intended to four. Oh! Pass complete to number eight, Quentin Giles, sprinting down the right-hand side, but tripped up. Let's see where they mark the ball. Ball is being marked at the 40-yard line. Forty-two yard line, about a thirty-one yard gain, pass completion for number eleven, Victor Garza. First and ten Hawks on the forty-two. Four forty-five remaining in the game. Snap back to Garza, handoff number twenty-four. Left side getting a good gain. Number twenty-four, Grant, Ashton Grant. Tackle by the Jaguars, number 10, Jacob Vasquez. First down gain moves the ball down to the 46-yard line into the Jaguar territory. First down for Burko. Snap back to Garza. Garza's keeping it, running right up the middle and carry, carrying a couple Jaguars with him. Garza keeping the ball on the ground for Burkville. Number 45, Chris Martinez, and number 60, Something Prince Gregory with the tackle. Martinez. After about an eight-yard gain, Garza carried him for probably a good six yards. Second and two, ball marked on the 38-yard line. Second down for Burkville. And off up the middle to number 24, Grant. Grant on the handoff up the middle. After a nice big gain down to the 29 yard line. First down run, first and 10 for the Hawks. Three minutes, 30 seconds remaining in the game. Snap is back to Garza, handing off to number 24, Grant, off the right side. Same guys on the tackles, number 45, Chris Martinez, number 60, Prince Gregory. Six-yard gain for Ashton Grant, moves the ball down to about the 23-yard line. Second about four yards to go. Two, two minutes and 50 seconds remaining in the game. Looks like we've got a timeout on the field. Timeout called by Molina with two minutes and 39 seconds remaining. We'll be back in just a moment. After the game, please, parents, stay in the stands. No one is allowed on the field after the game. Students and parents, please remain in the stands. The field is only for players, coaches, and game personnel. Thank you. Turn into action with two minutes and 39 seconds remaining. The Hawks have the ball. Second about four from the 23-yard line. 
Hand off over the right side. Number 11, Victor Garza on the keeper. That's quarterback keeper, correction. Quarterback keeper by number 11, Victor Garza. Prince Gregory. Moves the ball down to the 22-yard line. About a gain of about one. So third, third and three. That brings up third down for Burnville. Snap back to Garza. Finds his receiver, but incomplete. Pass intended for number eight, Quentin Giles. Intended for number eight, Quentin Giles. Flag on the play. Got a flag on the play. Looks like a couple flags on the field. We'll see what happens. Pass interference called on Molina. Following the penalty, moves the ball down to the eight-yard line. First and goal for the Hawks. And off the left side, number 24. Tripped up just short of the goal line and by number 25. McQuinton Vaughn. Ashton Grant with a handoff moves the ball down to about the three yard line. Second and goal from the three. Timeout on the field. Timeout called by Molina. We'll be right back. And we're turning to action. Second down for the Hawks on about the three yard line. Snap is back to Garza, number 11, keeping it, going around the right side. And he's in for the score. Number 11, Victor Garza, a three yard touchdown run. Back in attempting the extra point for the Hawks. Number 29, Kyler Horton. Holding his number again, number five, Caleb Kelly. <laughs> Strong extra point was good. Ladies and gentlemen, with a minute and 25 seconds remaining in the game, that makes the score the Birdville Hawks 48. Correction 49. Birdville Hawks 49 and Molina Jaguars 8. We'll be back after this commercial break. Kicking off for the Hawks, number 29, Kyler Horton. 
back deep for the Jaguars. Number one, Terrence Reed. Number 14, Sammy Sanders. Deep kickoff by down to number to the eight yard line by number one, Terrence Reed returning. Getting thrown out of bounds by number 20 for the Hawks. Got a flag on the field. Looks like he was thrown out about the 21 yard line, but we do see a few flags on the field. Unsportsmanlike like contact called on Molina, number 12, Ernesto Rodriguez. He has been disqualified for the game and will be removed from the facility. Molina takes over, first and 10. Following the penalty, they're moving the ball back down to the, let's see, about the 11, about the 11 yard line. Ball's marked on the 11 yard line. First and 10, Jaguars. In the backfield for Molina, number four, Robert Johnson, a quarterback, 25, McQuint McQuinton Vaughn, a running back. Johnson back for pass, scrambling to the left hand side, looking for his receiver. Spots one. Incomplete, intended for number eight. Sincere Wilk Wilkinson, Wilkerson, Wilkerson. Pass is incomplete, second and 10. Defending on the play for the Hawks, number 35, Henry Chipman. Second down, Molina. Pass by number four, Johnson complete to number seven, Chavez. Knocked out of bounds about the 29 yard line. Pass complete to Chavez. Defending on the play, number 16, James Moeri. For the Hawks. Looks like they're moving the ball up to about the 30 yard line. First and 10 for the Jaguars. Under 20 seconds remaining, about 15 seconds remaining. Let's see if they get a playoff. Ball is snapped back to number four, Johnson. He's scrambling to his left. Pass is complete to number 14. Looks like he lost about a yard, but ladies and gentlemen, it is a final, the final score the Birdville Hawks, 49. The Molina Jaguars, 8. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been fun talking to you tonight. My name is Keith Reinhardt. I'm sitting in for the great Joe, Coach Joe Ward. He'll be back with you again next week. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Birdville Independent School District, we encourage you to take your time as you leave the facility. Thank you and good night.